boring campers. So, time for another video on the bike. Um, need to change the oil. Uh, and I might as well do the oil filter at the same time. Um, I've never done it before on this bike. Uh, I've done it on other bikes years ago. Uh, but this bike, my FJR 1300, I've always taken in for a service because it's basically been under HP. Now it's mine. Uh, I'm going to start doing the service in myself, uh, which I've seen a few months ago when I did the uh, brakes, squeaky brakes. Today I'm going to do the oil. Uh, like I say, I have not even looked at it yet to see where the drain plug is, but I've got a vague idea. It's underneath. Uh, but before I do that, we've got a bit of an issue. The carriage is a bit of a tip. So I best uh, get on with that. So while I'm clearing space out, I will take the bike out, uh, put it on the drive and warm it up. Okay, I've got enough space to get down by the side of it. Uh, obviously I had to figure out which side I was going to do it from. I'm doing it from the oil filter side. Uh, I haven't mentioned it so far. It's a 2019 FGR 1300. So it's done 22,000 miles. I think the last service was round about this time last year. Uh, again, like I said, it was winning in the shop, but I'm doing it this time. So, first thing you got to figure out. So these are the bits we're going to undo. That's the oil filler on the left-hand side. That's the oil filler. And the oil drain, still on the left-hand side. Just behind that nut for the fairing. Well, just in front of it, actually, is... The drain bolt looking very cruddy. It's not that one, must be the Universal 17. And yes, it's a 17. Uh, suck it. Now, some people say take off the oil filler before you drain. And I can understand why, because it will come out quicker. But I tend to take it off after I've loosened this. Hoping that it won't piss all over the place and so my hands are all out of the way. Right, uh, which way do I want to go? Oh God, I've got to look at this, it's to, to me. Yeah. what the lever does for you. Come on, get off your bastard.
Ideally, I don't want to drop this in the bucket. Right, that's it done. Got a quick one of them. As you can see, over my hands. I don't know if you can see that at all or not. I hope you can. And we'll undo the... And do the filler cap as well. I'm done. So that's just about that's just about finished dripping. Um, while it was doing that, I had to separate the bolt from the from the socket, uh, which was just using a little drift just to tap it through. Made it easy. And then the other thing you've got to notice is it's got a crush washer which is very bloody skinny and crushed now fortunately i did because i ordered these bits ages ago and i think i did order another one of these just in case i know i ordered some washers so i shall have a look and be back so the next step is to remove oil filter now to me, when I remove that, it's going to drip all the way down there. And it's going to be a bitch to clean up. I'm wondering if I can... Can I? Can, you, can I just do that and take it out of the way? I don't know. I don't know. Actually, before, before any shit gets in the system, Take the shit off the filler cap. Bit of fluff. I'm gonna put that in there so I don't get any shit in there. Um, I'm gonna try and undo that. That's an on key. Uh, we'll see if we've got a bit more. Any way of directing the oil away from the all the way down the inside. Not that. I mean, the state of this. Looking at it, I'm sort of thinking I might end up cleaning it at this rate. Bear with uh, You can hear any hairy breathing, that's because I'm stretching over the camera. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, you will know that I keep forgetting to press record. Which is ridiculous because I've made quite a few on the van. Uh, second one on the bike and I've done it again. So, got this off. I have now got the filter off from in there. The card work kept it off the fairing. Obviously, it's going to dribble down everywhere else, but I can wipe that up easier. Um, yeah, once that's drained, we'll put the new one on. And we'll try and remember to press record. Okay, a bit about parts I've used. So, um, the oil is going to be this stuff. Is that back to front? It's back to front on what I'm looking at. Well, it can't be. Anyway, shall advance. Uh, that'll do me. Uh, 10W40, 4 litres, 39.99. Oil filter. It's an HF204 pattern version, not a Yamaha version. Uh, 5.49. Um, but because I bought the oil, they threw in a filter free. And I also bought a drain plug with a magnetic magnet on the end to catch your bits. And that was 626. So the total was 40 quid. Uh, I didn't get charged. It was free, free postage and packing. And it was from a company called MMP Direct, uh, based in Swansea. 
got a feeling I've got a place in Wrexham as well. I'm sure I've actually been to the shop years ago. Anyway, M&P Direct. Uh, M&P.com is, the, is their uh, tinternet thing. Unfortunately, however, if I show you this against this, that is the plug I've just taken out. And that is the plug I bought to go in. Can you see the difference in size? So I'm not sure whether I could get away with this. Um, so what I've done is I've got another copper washer, which I'll use. Right. Just to have a look at the uh, owner's manual for the FGR 3080, which is my Yahoo. Um, <laughs> just to let you know what the torques are. I like the way they need a tool to undo the, the um, oil filter. That's rubbish. Unless you want to torque it up. But they, they reckon it's 17 newton meters, 13 pounds foot is hand tight and the tightening torque for the drain bolt is 43 newton meters 32 and you go on right so now it's just a matter of uh, reversing the procedure isn't that interesting let's see if we can get in that has already come lubed up. I've always been told to put a bit of oil on it. I don't think I need to now. I actually might take that off. So, screw that on. Uh, do something somehow. These are so much easier than the way the bikes used to be. Felt as you had to take it separately. Right. Tighten that up by hand. And that is as tight as it was. Right. Uh, drain plug. Where are we? Drain plug. Uh, goes back in the drain hole, which I'm probably going to be in your way, but excuse me. said 32 what was that 32 pounds, it? 32 pounds 43 dollars 32 So what I always do is I always put it less and then gradually it. So I had that on 30 and I'm now going to put it on 32. There you go. the oil. I haven't wiped that down yet. We're going to fill it. Get 
Especially on the outside, we don't want any shit going in there. That'll do. Our funnel. Come on. That goes in there, and that goes up straight. And that, hopefully, is working. subscribe if you can't get to sleep subscribe like thumbs up you know all that sort of stuff I'm sure that's helped you get to sleep watching that pouring of that and that is it Right, so that's the four litres in. Can you see me say glass? That is full. Now, don't forget, it's got to then work its way around the, the filter so it'll drop a bit. When did I do that? Serious stuff in a minute. Um, let's start off by showing what I've used. Too wise. So, got a container of oil, which I'm going to put back in there and then take to the tip. We needed the oil filter to replace that oil filter. We needed a washer for the sump. Plug, uh, and we needed the oil, so they're the parts we needed. Fortunately, I had a washer that would do the job. So, 17 mil gets the drain plug out, and I used the wrench that came with it and a long spanner to increase the leverage. I just you could have used that. You know, torque wrench isn't just for tightening, you can also use it for slacking, you know. Bloody idiot that I am. So that was that. The... So I took the, to took the bolt out, then I undid that to allow the air to push out the remainder. Then took that out, the oil filter. That was hand tight. Uh, you shouldn't need to tighten it more than that. Um, and when it comes to slacking off, if you can't, just put a bit of cord around it and twist it off that way. You don't need spanners or anything, or you shouldn't need them. Oh, and, which is, reminds me, I also needed an iron key for the bolt that goes in there. Which I shall... Ah, uh, oh, for fuck's sake, I'll put it in a minute. This Because this is winding up. So... That's the tools. Funnels. You have to call some contraption to get it in there. So I found using the two funnels seem to be the best bet. Um, it's very awkward pouring out of this. Disappointed that this didn't have a seal on the top. Um, I mean, it hadn't been tampered. It's got the, the security seal and that, but it wasn't leak proof because you can see the outside of that bottle is all shiny, so it did lose some in transport. 
and plus I've just noticed you can see the side of the box there has got a bit of stain on it or foil right so I wore gloves to drain the oil I should have worn gloves when I was putting the oil back in uh, but I didn't because I'd already chucked me dirty gloves um, but yeah if you've got gloves use them and I think that's it as always if you've got any questions if I've fucked up the video if you want a clear explanation just let us know and I'll run it again I won't change the oil but I'll mime what you're supposed to do uh, hopefully this is a bit more <coughs> clearer than the one on the front Rex okay have fun folks catch us later with whatever I'm doing next so there's the bolt in just to prove I do finish off uh, clear side glass lovely looking oil I shall push it out and start it up to see if there's any leaks Just to let you know how long that took, it is 20 past 10, I came out at half eight, tidied up a bit of space in the garage and I've been taping so that's why it's taken so long. You could easily do this in an hour, please do it yourself. Okay, bye.